hello everyone welcome to dada's food crave kitchen in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a simple dinner recipe beef stir fried with vermicelli noodles if you are interested keep on watching and without any further ado let's get cooking steam these are the ingredients i have here some ginger garlic onions habanero pepper jimbo cube and some parsley next i am going to add all the ingredients into my food processor and blend them until everything is well combined adjust the spice to your liking Then I am going to add in some black pepper. And also some salt to taste. To make the blending go easily, I am going to add in a little bit of oil, like two tablespoons of oil. You can use any oil of your choice. And here I have my stir fry beef. You can already purchase it already cut like so. If not, just simply get you some meat and cut it in julienne cut in strips. All right. So like I said, I already purchased it like that from the grocery store. This is how it looks like. It's all cut in thin slices and a julienne cut. Next, I am going to go ahead and season the meat with some soy sauce. I'm using the light soy sauce. Then I'm also going to go ahead and sprinkle in some beef stir fry sauce. You can find all these ingredients on your um at your grocery store in the Asian aisle. Now you want to be mindful with the salt intake. Mind you, I added some salt already on my blended ingredients plus the soy sauce, especially if you plan on using the heavier soy sauce. I'm using the light soy sauce. So I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of my blended ingredients, which was the garlic, ginger, habanero pepper, parsley, and garlic. I'm also going to add in more black pepper and a little bit of salt. Adjust the spice to your liking. You want to make sure you eyeball everything to your liking. Now you're going to go ahead and mix everything until it's well combined. If you have the time, you can let it sit and season for at least 30 minutes. And next I have here some bell peppers. I have different colors just to make the beef stir fry looks very beautiful. I have yellow, red and orange. I also have some jalapeno peppers. Like I said again, adjust the spice to your liking. I am going to also slice in some 
white onions and red onions all right i'm going to cut it up in a julienne cut so guys as most of you already know that i am still grieving the loss of my mom my mom passed away march 24th of 2022 so that's why i was taking a break from youtube i had to travel all the way to gambia to attend her funeral it's not easy i am still grieving the loss of my mom it's not easy to lose a mother but god knows best i just pray that god will grant her a peaceful resting place may her soul continue to rest in peace So after cutting all my ingredients, my bell pepper and my onions, this is how everything looks like with the jalapeno peppers. This is how everything looks like. So now let's move on to the next step. In a pot, I am going to add some water, which I'm going to bring into a boil. So in a pot or a stir fry pan or a wok, whichever one you have, I am going to add in a good amount of oil, not so much oil. If you find out that the oil is a lot, you can go ahead and scoop some out. So after a while, my meat's been seasoned really good. I am going to now add it into the hot oil. Make sure the oil is extremely hot. So at this point, I am going to let it brown up really, really good. So after a while you will notice that the meat it's oozing out its own juice so don't worry don't panic let just keep browning the meat like so until all the water dry down until the meat is totally brown to a very beautiful brown color now i'm going to go ahead and scoop everything out and put that aside And next, I am going to use that same oil I used to brown my beef to fry my stir fry my onions and my bell pepper with my jalapeno pepper. I am going to just toss it a little bit, like give it a little toss. I'm not gonna even like cook it until everything is like completely cooked because you want some little bit of crunch to it. Then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of my blended ingredients, which is the garlic, ginger, parsley. Um, habanero pepper and so forth then i'm also going to add in some more black pepper guys yes then i'm going to go ahead and also add some seasoned cube all right this brand that i'm using is called jumbo cube feel free to use any seasoning cube of your choice So you're gonna go ahead and give it a good mix let it cook a little bit like i said you want a little bit of crunch to it and next what you want to do is once the water come to a boil you're going to remove it from the stove and put that aside you can put it on your counter or on your um on the sink like so like i did in the video because the rice vermicelli noodles doesn't take long to cook all it requires a hot boiling water so i'm going to go ahead is either you pour the boiling water on top of the rice vermicelli noodles so why not just put it like just dunk it in into the boiling water and let it sit for five minutes and next i am going to go ahead and just drain the water out and rinse it out with a uh, cold water all right so that it will stop the cooking process and some of the starch would wash off also so as you can see i'm checking on my um 
bell peppers and, and onions give it a good stir like so make sure you taste for your seasoning make sure everything is going as planned next i am going to go ahead and add in my stir fry beef that was browned really nice so you're gonna go ahead and add that into the um sliced onions and bell peppers and stuff and give that a good mix like i said at this point you want to taste for seasoning if you know if it doesn't taste the way you like it go ahead and add more seasoning because once you add the noodles you're not going to add, be able to add more seasoning so this is the time you want to add everything to your own liking or to your own taste as you can see i went ahead and add a little bit more stir fry sauce you can add more soy sauce or salt like i said you adjust it to your own liking as you can see after five minutes later i came in and i check on my vermicelli rice noodles like i said all it requires is hot boiling water now i am going to drain it out with some cold water so that it will stop the cooking process all right And you can find most of these vermicelli noodles you can find them at amazon or any asian store or even your grocery store so now after draining out the vermicelli noodles make sure all some of the waters are all drained out now it's time to add the vermicelli noodles into the beef stir fry you want to make sure you cut it because when you i will suggest for you to cut it actually because when you have when you cut it with your kitchen scissors it's easy to like you know handle in the pot because it's very 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 long so in order for you to be able to mix it you want to use your kitchen scissors and just cut it up a little bit so you want to add the vermicelli noodles into the beef stir fry as much as you want you don't want to overdo it then it's not going to be tasty it's going to lose most of the taste depending on how much people how many people you're making for but you don't want to overcrowd the noodles into the beef stir fry so you want to mix everything until everything is well combined yes and please guys if you are enjoying watching this video i hope you will um hit the like button and give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new you go ahead and subscribe and don't forget that post notification bell so that you'll be one of the first to know whenever i upload a new video as you can see i went ahead and add a little bit more soy sauce like i said again you are cooking for yourself you know cooking for dada i'm just only showing you how to make this recipe so that's when you're gonna adjust everything to your liking when it comes to taste and the spice all right so here you go here is the simple dinner beef stir fry vermicelli noodles for you i hope you guys will try this recipe and if you try this recipe leave a comment down in the comment section below and if you're new don't forget to subscribe and if you like watching this video and if you like any of my content i hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up all right a big thumbs up it's quick it's easy it's simple and it's also delicious and i hope you guys will try this recipe i can thank you all so much for your support it is greatly appreciated and thank you all so much for watching until i come your way next time i hope you guys enjoy watching this video i will see you all in my next upload may peace be unto you all shalom